Welcome to season four of the Agile Brand with Greg Kilstrom, where we discuss business agility through customer experience, employee experience, and digital transformation. I'm your host, Greg Kilstrom. The Agile World Podcast is brought to you by Tech Systems, an industry leader in full stack technology services, talent services, and real world application. For more information, go to techsystems.com. To read more about the topics discussed on this show, you can go to my website at gregkillstrom.com and read my latest articles or get a copy of my latest book, Meaningful Measurement of the Customer Experience, now available on Amazon and other retailers. My name is Greg Kilstrom, and I'm the host of the Agile Brand Podcast. Today, we're going to talk about the value of branding and a strong brand strategy. To help me discuss this topic, I'd like to welcome Stephen Hurahan, freelancer turned brand strategist and the founder of Brand Master Academy. Stephen, welcome to the show. Thanks, Greg. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm looking forward to talking about this with you. Uh, why don't we start by you giving a little background on yourself as well as what led to what you're currently doing? Yeah, no problem at all. Um, I'm, I'm based in Sydney, Australia. I'm actually originally from Ireland, but I've been here about 20 years. And my, my traditional education background is in is in finance. I was actually in the, the stock market for a while, but I made a shift you know, a little over uh, 10 years ago or so to, uh, to get into something that I was quite passionate about, which was design and, and branding. And I started my own my own agency after a, a few years of, of experience. And I, uh, I, I kind of noticed in the market, there was a lot of changes going on at the time. I don't know if you remember when Freelancer and Odesk, they all came in. So yeah. the market was, was in this kind of strange transition place. And I was looking to what I was going to be able to do differently because I saw a massive price decline in you know what I was able to charge for my work, the expectation of clients, because branding seemed to be getting cheaper in the marketplace. But at the same time, it was also creating this disconnect as to what branding really was. So I kind of shifted my focus to what I would call more core branding and the strategy behind branding because I felt that that was a massive gap that was missing and you know that led me on a on a path of discovery and it changed everything I did for my clients and I saw a, a real uptick in what I was able to do the the response I was getting from my clients because I was I was feeling this need that they they didn't really know that they had but once they started to hear about it it started to click with them so brand strategy became kind of this obsession for me and I built out these these frameworks to to use with my clients, and over time, I, I started to share that with with my friends, record content, and and that kind of grew into this this program and and this academy that I now have today, where I teach branding professionals, entrepreneurs, how to integrate strategy into the brands that they're building. So they're not just building these visual identities. They're not just building these facades of brands. There's actually some substance behind them and some strategy as to how to connect with the audience. So that's my that's my short journey, and 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 that's where my focus is on today with within that Brand Master Academy realm. That's great. Well, yeah, and today we're gonna we're gonna talk about the the value of branding and and brand strategy. And so you touched on this already, but uh, just to just to kind of go back to that point, once something becomes technically easier to do, often there comes a rush of competition. And so, you know, while it may be easier to find or even design a logo due to technology and tools, it's definitely not the same thing as creating a brand or a brand strategy. And, you know, you touched on this as well. So what what do potential clients need to understand about this, this difference between, again, just getting a logo for, you know, for a few dollars versus brand and, and brand strategy? Yeah, and I think to to kind of answer that question, it I'll, I'll kind of talk about the the perfect storm that was was created with these market conditions. So you had the the digital transformation that made it so easy for people to get online and to create businesses to sell their services. At the same time, when we had this influx of designers, uh, you know, self taught designers who were able to download Illustrator and then you know sell their services without any barrier to entry. We had all of these entrepreneurs coming into the marketplace saying, "I want to start a business. I need a brand." So you you had you had these self taught designers saying, "Hey, we offer branding," and these these uh, green entrepreneurs say, "Hey, I need branding." So you, you just had this this environment where you know there wasn't a lot of expertise or know how or 
or knowledge or education into what branding actually was. So then we had this environment where the logo became king. A logo was a brand. Yeah. But really, when we think about businesses, when we when we think about who we do business with or the way that we choose the brands that we do business with, we, we don't choose brands based on a logo. We don't choose the businesses to, to serve our needs based on how they look. Right. We, we choose brands in the same way that we, we choose our friends. And this is all human instinct. We, we, we scan our environment constantly for, you know, for, for threats and for dangers. And this is just part of, of our DNA. And we look for connections. We look for reasons to, you know, to trust. We look for survival reasons. And when we, when we connect with brands, when we do business with brands, it's because they have connected with us in a way that goes beyond a visual. They have spoken to us in a way that, you know, resonates with us in a language that resonates with us. They've spoken to our desires or our fears, and they've done it in a way that makes us feel that they know exactly who we are, the path we're on, the goals we're trying to achieve, and the challenges that are standing in front of us. And they facilitate that bridge. They facilitate this crossover from where we are now to where we want to be. And a logo and a brand identity is not going to do that for you. A brand that understands who their audience is, the challenges that they have and where they want to get to, and then strategically speak to that journey in a way that resonates with them. They're the brands that we do business with. And, and that is the that is the premise of strategy, really understanding who that audience is, what they want, and how to give it to, to them in a way that's going to resonate with who they are as a person. So that in a nutshell for me is, is strategy. You know, it, it's about making those connections and it's not about it's not about looking good with a visual identity. Yeah, yeah. I love that love that description there. So let's let's talk about what you do at the at the Brand Master Academy. Who's the target audience for the academy, and what are what are the types of things that participants learn and 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 understand from it? Yeah, so it, it it really came organically from the the path of discovery that I went on. I had all of these challenges. I was in a marketplace where you know, I really wasn't standing out. There was so much noise in the marketplace. Um, I didn't know what positioning was, but I knew that I had a problem because it was it was so noisy out there. You had all of these these people selling these services, and and you know, it was very very difficult to stand out. So you know, really kind of going on that path of discovery opened up this world into positioning and and how to position yourself effectively and as i said that really grew into this organic framework that that i i put together so essentially i i created this framework for myself first and foremost to learn how to to stand out in the market how to create a compelling offer how to speak to my audience in a way that's going to resonate with them but in in creating that framework i created this perfect product that my clients actually needed. And then I began sharing that with other people, with other people other than just my clients. So initially I created this for myself and my my initial target audience was myself five years ago. So that would have been designers who were starting out, who were trying to uh, you know, get some traction in, in the market, but it's kind of grown a little bit more from there because it's not just designers that need to understand brands, how to build brands strategically and brand strategy. It's any brand builder, it's professional brand builders. It could be copywriters, marketing managers, but it's also those entrepreneurs who are coming into the market and really want to own their brand for themselves. They don't want to outsource you know, the, the brand because they are the brand leaders. They need to manage that brand. They're the ones that are going to bring that brand to success. So understanding what the brand is about, the fabric of the brand and how to communicate that, that is, you know, that is the job of a brand leader. So as I said, it, it was originally uh, graphic designers, professional brand builders, but it's also those entrepreneurs who want to own their brand as well. Yeah. And it seems like in some, you know, someone that graduates with a degree in marketing or something, they probably have some of this, the at least the basics covered, but you're, you're reaching a lot of people that probably are are getting into branding from whether it's from a graphic design standpoint in which, yes, they, they may be a little more focused on the logo to start or just business owners and stuff. So how um, is the, is the curriculum 
fairly broad in terms of, you know, who's who it targets as far as, you know, the starting point, I guess, of uh, where they enter? Yeah, yeah. Uh, look, that's, that's a good question. And, and to, to kind of go back to your point earlier on, you know, uh, you know, some people come into to branding because they've graduated from university with a marketing degree. But the way they teach marketing today is still the same way they have taught marketing you know, back in the in the late seventies and eighties yeah. for the last forty years. And within that philosophy and that that idea, branding has not evolved within the education system as it has in the real world. The way they taught branding back in, in the eighties was that branding was this small subset of marketing. They would spend a little bit of time on what branding was, you know, and most of the time on the four P's of branding, all of that, those traditional concepts. But since then, branding has evolved into this overarching discipline that governs not just marketing decisions, but business decisions as well. And, you know, the traditional education hasn't really kept up with that. So branding has become this blind spot this blind spot for everyone. It's become a blind spot for marketing professionals. It's become a blind spot for designers, for entrepreneurs. And, you know, really that's what Brand Master Academy addresses. That's what I found when, when I went on this path of discovery, I was like, I have not come across a framework that breaks down what branding is from, from the very foundations of, you know, how we connect as humans to, you know, the, the, the complex studies that have happened over the last 10 to 15 years within neuroscience and how we make those buying decisions. So the, the curriculum, the, the flagship course, Brand Master Secrets, you know, there's 150 videos, there's 25 hours of content, and it really goes deep and it starts from a foundational level, you know, going back to where branding came from. And it, you know, it goes deep into, into that science and, and that psychology and, you know, how to develop out a strategy to, to speak to your clients, considering what we know today in, in the way people make decisions. So it is broad from the point of view that it covers the foundations. It covers those fundamental principles, but it also goes deep as well. So anybody coming into Brand Master Secrets, you could come into this program with no knowledge of branding with no knowledge of of marketing and by the end of this program you would have a better understanding of what branding is than 95 percent of people on the planet so it's you know it really does give you that that foundational grounding and it is targeted towards people who want to become professional brand strategists who want to turn what they're doing turn that tactical work that design work that copywriting work into more strategic work rather than tactical so that they're you know, they're not building or creating a slice of the pie, they're developing the whole pie. So it is, it is very foundational in terms of giving you that, that grounding, but it also goes deep so that you come at the other side as a true expert. That's great. That's great. And so to talk about those individuals, those, those people that, you know, may have gone through, through your academy or that are, professionals in, in branding and, and brand strategy. As we talked about at the at the top of the show, there's a lot of competition. Some of it is stiff competition in, in terms of, you know, really good brand branders, brand strategists, and some, let's say, inexpensive ways of, of accomplishing <laughs> less less than ideal goals. But you know, how do the good ones set themselves apart? And you know, how do they how do they stand out? Are we talking about how do the good brands set themselves apart? Uh, the good brand strategists, those those making a living creating brands. Yeah. So the the it's it's in the it's in the words that we use. It's in what we say, and it's in the the challenges that we address with our clients. So if you have somebody coming to you looking for a logo or a website, well, then they have self diagnosed their problems. Now we don't go to to doctors and and say, hey, doctor, you know my wrist is hurting. I reckon I've got this. Can you give me some pills for, for, for this? Right. You know, we, we go to a doctor with an open mind as to what our problem might be. And we assume the position of patient. We know that we don't know what is wrong with us. And this doctor is positioned to, to tell us what's wrong. And we, we give them that level of trust. So great brand strategists are are those who approach their clients in the same way. If they have somebody coming to them, whether or not they 
have self-diagnosed themselves or they are actually an open patient, the way to get to the problem that needs to be solved is by asking really, really good questions and being curious. Now, in doing this, it's going to achieve a few things. First of all, you're going to understand the other person and what their needs are. You're going to understand their business and you're going to arm yourself with that useful information to then make decisions later on or to provide advice or to to just give them the right guidance. It's also going to make them feel understood and connected to you because in, in just asking those questions, they feel heard. They feel understood because they have the opportunity to speak and open up about things that they have probably just internalized up until this point. We don't tend to talk to our partners about our our considerations or our deep fears or challenges about business. We might speak to them on a surface level, but when you ask your clients these specific questions and it gives them a chance to verbalize probably for the first time, you know, what they're thinking or what their vision is, then, you know, you're really giving them that platform to feel understood. And if they feel understood as humans, that's what we want. If we feel understood, we we feel connected to the person who is giving us that understanding. And the third thing that it does is it gives you this sense of authority. Just by asking questions, you are assuming the role of the leader because we tend to trust those who are are the ones asking us the questions from our parents to our teachers to our doctors. Just by asking those questions, they assume this authority and we are on the spot to provide them with the best answers. And this comes from school. We want to we wanna give the best answer to the question that's being asked. And when somebody asks us a question, we assume that kind of uh, that student role and you know the the other person is the leader so you know just in asking questions just in being curious it accomplishes so much it arms you with so much information it makes your client feel understood and it gives you that sense of authority so that is by far the 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 number one tip i would give to someone who wants to become a really good brand strategist that's great that's great well um one last thing is from a trends perspective, you know, what are you certainly you're, you're keeping up with things and, and aligning what you're what you're teaching in, in the academy with the latest and greatest out there? You know, what trends are you seeing in the world of branding and that brand strategists should be anticipating and keeping in mind in the months ahead? Yeah, well, look, the biggest trend that I'm seeing is is really on the client side, the the, the client is more educated today than they were, you know, even five years ago. Because there are so many influencers out there who are talking about brand, they're talking about the value of brand, and they're not talking about logos. They're not talking about, uh, you know, a visual identity and a good looking website. They're talking about relationships. They're talking about connecting. So clients are open now to the idea that their brand is more than just a logo it's more than just a website and in fact they're in a lot of cases they're coming to to branding professionals and and strategists with the expectation that they are going to have a much deeper level of knowledge than just saying hey why don't we uh why don't we do your logo this way or why don't we do your website that way so you know they they're really open to so much more about branding from you know the concepts of positioning and differentiation strategy. How are we going to be different? What reasons are we giving our clients or our customers to choose us over our competitors? Brand personality as well. You know, how are we showing up in the market? How are we displaying our attributes? Because remember what I said before, Greg, it's in those attributes. It's in the way we connect yeah. with with other people, with other humans that we're attracted to brands as well. So how are we showing up? Are we showing up as this corporate entity using this corporate language that sounds very robotic? Or are we turning up sounding like a genuine person, like there's real people behind this brand? You know, they're either funny or they're rugged or they're adventurous or they have a point of view or a sense of humor. You know, how are we showing up to the market with our personality for our brand? And then how are we communicating our brand as well? What messages are we putting out there into the marketplace? What stories are we telling? And, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of going off on a, a tangent here because each and every one of these goes so much deeper. Just storytelling as an example, we are so much more open to story than we are factual information because this is how our ancestors have passed on, you know, information 
for generations before they had books and complex language and they would they would just tell stories so our brains are wired to be open to stories and when we hear stories that are aligned with our own journey and the problems that we have the desires that we have the goals that we want to achieve and you know we we can see ourselves in those stories that's when we open ourselves up to messages that resonate with us so there are so many different levels when it it comes to branding and how strategists can express themselves but i definitely feel that there is this trend that we've been on now for for at least 10 years but really only in the last 5 years it's starting to gain up ahead of steam that you know entrepreneurs coming into the market they're not as wet behind the ears as they used to be when you know the digital transformation just happened and people just came into the market for for the first time they're coming in understanding what branding is about they're coming in with you know a sense of personal development and self-development and, you know, professional development, because there's so much information out there. And they, if, if it's of interest to them, then they're going to arm themselves with that knowledge. And what real branding is, what true branding is, what brand strategy is, there's so much information out there and they're, they're open to it now. So we're moving past this world of a brand is just a logo. And we're having to deal with these clients who just want logos. There are still plenty out there. But we are moving more into a place where it's becoming this this general consensus and this general knowledge that we need to actually understand the the customers that we're trying to connect with, and we need to build a brand around that customer and create it in a way that's going to resonate with them. Yeah, yeah, no, I, lo- I love that love that perspective on it. Well, Stephen, thanks so much for joining the show. Uh, For those listening, what's the best way for them to learn more about the Brandmaster Academy and to keep up with what you're doing? Yep. Uh, The simplest way is brandmasteracademy.com. You can also find us on YouTube. If if you're looking to get into brand strategy for the first time, you know, we've got over 200 videos there on on YouTube. There's like 30,000 plus followers at the moment. And, you know, if if you want to get a solid grounding on, on brand strategy without investing in anything, then I'd suggest uh, jumping on to to YouTube but you can find that through brandmasteracademy.com anyway and there's a very uh, there's a very valuable free download there which is the pro brand strategy blueprint to give you all of the elements that you need to consider when building your brand strategy for the first time wonderful well thanks again I'd like to thank Stephen Horahan founder of Brandmaster Academy for joining the show thanks for listening to the agile brand with Greg Kilstrom talk with you next week Thanks again for listening to the Agile Brand with Greg Kilstrom podcast, brought to you by Tech Systems. If you enjoyed the show, please take a minute to subscribe on your podcast channel of choice and leave us a rating so that others can find the show more easily. You can access more episodes of the show at www.theagilebrand.show. To get a copy of my latest book, Meaningful Measurement of the Customer Experience, visit my website at gregkilstrom.com. Until next week, stay agile.